Hey everyone, today's video is how to have a good fight, a good argument. Stick around. I got a question for you today. How do you handle, how do you handle personally intense, crucial conversations? Intense, emotionally heightened conversations. Are you good at that? Or are you bad at that? I had an opportunity today to sit in on a meeting. It was a board meeting of a small company, only five people there. And uh, a couple of the people started getting a little upset with each other. And so I was operating as the facilitator, the COO. And so I was able to watch and observe. And then I started noticing a lot of things that were being said that were hurtful to the other person. And so we basically got totally off topic and started just flinging accusations at each other. Can you tell that it probably didn't go well? <laughs> it didn't. Um, but I was able to facilitate the meeting and help people calm down a little bit and understand what, what, the, what the grievances were, what they were mad about, and what are some of the options that they could take to further get better understanding and, and move forward and help get the decisions made that we were sitting down to make. And at the end of the day, we had a little talk about what just happened and, and these particular people got up and apologized and they even gave each other a hug afterwards. And um, the point was, you could tell the emotional maturity of certain people in a conversation when they're always hurling accusations at someone else. And as a leader, I want to encourage others. I want to encourage others. I want to bring out the leadership in you and myself and say, guys, we need to grow emotionally to where we can understand and see and observe what's going on in the conversation and not participate in a spiraling downward conversation, but to be able to be leaders and learn how to have crucial conversations and learn how to have conflict resolution. It takes time, it takes a lot of growth, it takes a lot of pain, it takes tears, crying, complaining, but the best place to practice is in our own home. And so my wife and I have wonderful opportunities all the time to practice that. And uh, it's not easy, but we can all get better if we focus on getting better. And that's what we're called to do as leaders. And uh, so that's a, a book that I would recommend. Crucial Conversations is a great book for helping you to learn about how to have conversations when the intense emotions are rising up and you don't know what to say. Um, so it, it's a great book and I just want to encourage you guys to focus on leading yourself before you can lead others. We all have to grow. Um, I have to grow as a dad, as a husband, as a business owner, uh, and we have to focus on improving ourselves before we can lead others. So leadership starts with leading yourself. So that's it for today. Have a great day. Be blessed. Bye. So now I want to follow up to that uh, video that I just showed you. Um, the book I was talking about was is called Crucial Conversations, and there's all of the authors down there. There's a whole bunch of them. But if you just Google it, you can find the title of the book, Crucial Conversations. So I wanted to tell you that this is good for helping you uh, when you're running a corporation or even in your family, how to look at those conversations that you have that sometimes are just, they just didn't work out. I mean, somebody's feelings got hurt in the conversation, and how do I get better at this communication? So in this book, Crucial Conversations, one of the things that they talk about, I think is very powerful. Let me ask you a question. When you're feeling tense in a conversation, there's two ways that they describe that people typically react. You either go silent, where you just withdraw from the conversation and say, fine, I'm just, I'm just going to shut up. Or you might be the other kind that gets in and says, oh yeah, well then you start hurling accusations back to try and overpower the other person with your persuasive attitude. And in this book, it talks about how you don't have to do either of those. And when you be start becoming aware of how you respond in a conversation that gets intense like that, you can start taking control of your own emotions first. Powerful. Okay, another thing that they say in this book is how to recognize when the other person is starting to respond those ways. They're either going silent or they're starting to fight back. And what you can do is to create an environment where the other person feels safe to share. Powerful. 
So if you've said something that hurt the other person's feeling and they're starting to just be like, nope, not going there, you can do something about that. And you can learn how to have a communication where you say, hey, uh, okay, sorry about that. Um, I really care about your feelings. I didn't mean to hurt you in that moment here. Can, can you tell me how, how can we resolve this situation? And so sometimes conflict resolution can be done when you recognize if you said something to hurt the other person or if they said something that hurt you. Don't respond in a negative way. Don't hurl accusations back. But this book really just kind of helps you learn about how do you respond in that situation and how do other people respond? And you can start becoming aware of it and you can do something to have better conversations. So that's all for today. This is Mark at Freedom Hunter Pro. I'd like you to hit the subscribe button and click the like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about this or if you've read this book or if you're going to get this book. I'd like some feedback because we all need to grow as leaders as we move to the top of the mountain. See you later.